And we're back with Richard Reviews. Today we are reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash griffinchestnut slash YouTube. Griffin Chestnut is Richard's online uh, YouTube alias, um, which you can find at youtube.com. Uh, the link will be provided in the description. Today Richard is reviewing for us a book um, titled Hollywood by Charles Bukowski. You may have heard of Bukowski from other reviews that Richard has uploaded here on YouTube. Uh, Richard is uh, pretty much a big fan of Charles Bukowski. Um, he hasn't read everything that Bukowski has put out, but uh, Richard has read a decent amount. Um, Richard would say more than half uh, of the Charles Bukowski books uh, Richard has been through. Um, so this one uh, Richard will be reviewing for us is titled Hollywood. Um, this book is basically, um, the story goes, uh, since it's fiction, uh, Richard says, it, 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 he exclaims that it, the main character, pretty much his alter ego for Charles Bukowski, um, in this story he finds himself, uh, through a dilemma of, um, especially in the beginning of, uh, going through some nihilism and, um, arbitrarily um, finding his way into the Hollywood scene and uh, being part of some sort of a mishmash of groups or um, you know partying of course there is some sex and um, he finds himself uh, sort of diluted in that world and um, he ultimately has to make a choice between two girls which uh, Richard does not want to give away the ending but Richard feels that this is um, very much a classic Bukowski novel. Uh, it's about the same length as, um, you would say, uh, maybe uh, Post Office or Pulp, uh, any other novels, if you've read by uh, Bukowski uh, himself, or Factotum. Uh, that's, that's one of his uh, earlier pieces, um, as you can tell. And um, the nihilism that the main character um, experiences in the beginning is always just a simple, um, meaningless through, um, his life, which he sort of substitutes through drinking, which is a parable of this novel and something that's a reoccurring tradition in a Bukowski, uh, novel. Uh, it's sort of like his philosophy of life, which I don't think Richard, uh, disagrees with, but Richard also strongly advises against, um, proclaiming that alcoholism is something to be joked about. So, uh, the great no doubt for sure, uh, Richard, uh, does indulge himself in uh, the fine wines of Bordeaux and, um, some, uh, Italian Chiantis, since Richard is a fanatical, uh, wine connoisseur. Uh, he even tried to go to school for, uh, the palate of the, uh, the bishops that they can taste uh, circular blends through a molecular decision, um, which leads to some sort of an awakening in the taste buds. Regardless of that, uh, well, we're going to take a look at Richard's piece now. This is Richard's piece. Uh, this piece was given to Richard in uh, the early months of 2014, and uh, we're going to look at the piece right now. Okay, the piece on its own, it's, it's an old piece, uh, not one of Richard's newest, but right off the bat you can see small, small, small brimmel on the cream, but your average book, book length, as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty long book, and we can look on the side here, Charles Bukowski, Hollywood, Black Arrow Press, yep, there's even a, uh, some brimmel along the cream of it, okay, so, other than that, pretty basic cover, nice cream, good cream, along the sides, uh, not too much brimwall, some small shade, uh, just old time of deterioration, and there's some speckle, some speckle dust, which, uh, was accumulated over time. Even the back, there's some, uh, some kibbage, we don't want to get too much kibbage on these pieces, and there is some stickers here, I guess the, uh, this is, I don't know if this is the official price, but it says right here 1350 who knows now if that's Canadian or American, uh, this is, um, this is a, a Richard piece, so, um, once again, the 1350 doesn't really show us that, give us that much information whether this was purchased in 
Canada or the United States of America. Um, as for that, uh, we're gonna we're gonna lower the overall rating because of this dilemma. Uh, we can we can take a peek inside now, inside of the book, where you can notice the first page is actually pink, uh, which is a little outlandish. But regardless, we're gonna continue because the rest of the pages are not in pink. Okay. Uh, as you can see, um, more works by Mr. Bukowski himself, uh, who is a, um, a big fan of uh, Richard. And you can tell this is a clear fictional work. Uh, we can run through some pages. So there is some grimoire here, there's some, some markings here. I don't know if uh, Richard was aware of this before he purchased it, but this is... Uh, in Richard's line of work, this is unacceptable. Richard keeps his pieces very clean and uh, concisive. And this is a, a mark right here. We have some sort of a marking. Some pages are bent. Richard uses bookmarks. He does not page bent his pages. So this is not Richard's business. Um, this must have been from the prior and the previous owner. So as we continue down the line, uh, you can see it's your basic book. Very well finished. Very nice cream. Yeah, there's more markings along on the bottom here. I don't know if that's a price or something else. But uh, as you can tell though, even in the back, the last page, once again, is pink. Okay? We're, we're, we're having a, a, a recurring theme of pink. And, um, and uh, that's something that Mr. Charles Bukowski probably wanted to elicit in this in this piece. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it, it, it leads back to the struggle that he faced as a delinquent in the early 50s and 60s of, of his life. So no doubt you will understand what Mr. Bukowski went through. And his surprising characters bear strong resemblance and witness to his own life, uh, which of course is reminiscent of his alcoholism, which is a tradition in the problem in which Mr. Bukowski exists. The amusement of all the side characters does bring in a special notion that there's uh, 14 or 15 different uh, utterly helpless individuals that he runs into through, through the story. Uh, nonetheless, that's nothing to be ashamed of if you're in the line of work of Mr. Charles Bukowski. Um, as for the piece itself, uh, Rich gives this one a, a good review. This is a, a strong piece and a very entertaining piece of fiction that uh, Richard uh, appreciates that Mr. Charles Bukowski has laid, uh, laid his hands on his eyes, which uh, gave a chilling encounter with nothing less. So once you get past the nihilism, you get into some entertainment and some excitement, and then the story wraps up. A very good piece for Richard. Richard gives it a thumbs up, and uh, we will see you next time on Richard Reviews.